In this video, I'm going to briefly list 10 important UNESCO monuments in Palermo that you should not miss. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I am 100% purebred Sicilian and the founder of wearepalermo.com and the Sicilian way, the biggest travel guide to Palermo. Let's get started. Number one, Norman Palace. This is the oldest royal residence in Europe and God only knows how long it has existed. We know that it has been a Roman fortress, an Arab castle, as well as a Norman residence, which is what it is today. It has a large number of pieces of art and history, but the highlight here is definitely the Palatine Chapel. Number two the Palatine Chapel. Many art historians described it as the most beautiful religious jewel ever conceived by the human mind. Beauty aside, the thing that I love the most is its significance. The first Norman king of Sicily built this church during the Middle Ages in three different styles, Islamic, Roman and Greek Byzantine to show that integration was feasible. Number three, La Ziza Palace. A Norman king built this palace in 1165 in a great fusion between Sicily and the Islamic cultural world. The highlight here is definitely the remains of the spectacular garden that was described as an earthly paradise with plants and animals of all kinds. It also featured an high-tech channel system that carried water from a nearby river. Number four, the Cathedral of Palermo. The cathedral was built in 1185 and there are three main highlights here. The first is the exterior, which features a schizophrenic mix of architectural styles. Second, the lavish tomb of our Sicilian monarchs and third the roofs from where you can see our historic center from a privileged perspective. Number five San Giovanni de Jeremiti Church. Normans built this church in 1136 and it became famous especially for its notable red domes on top which show clearly the Arab influence in Sicily. It's one of the most persistent symbols of Palermo and you can see this church in many pictures of that city. Number six, Martorana Church. This church built way back in 1143 is among the few Orthodox churches in Italy. The highlight here is a series of spectacular 12th century mosaics that appear as decoration, but in the past they served to teach the word of God to the illiterate. Number seven, San Cataldo Church. This church built in 1160 is yet another example of the Arab Norman architecture. The three red domes on top of the Arab influence are definitely what made this church famous, but also its marble flooring made according to an ancient technique is another highlight. Number eight, the Admiral's Bridge. The Admiral's Bridge is a medieval bridge that was built in 1130. It connected the capital to the royal gardens located across the old river. According to some documents, it was the first stone bridge built in all of Europe. Number nine, Monreale Cathedral. This is the biggest church in the world with mosaics. We are talking about 6,400 square meters of handmade shiny golden mosaics, which is the equivalent to the size of a football pitch. These mosaics are also considered among the most persuasive. They enter your head and never come out. And number 10, Cathedral of Cefalu. This church was built in 1131 and it features a fusion of three different styles, Islamic, Byzantine, and Latin. The cathedral has loads of art, but the highlights here are definitely the Byzantine mosaics and Christ Pentagrador. And I should also mention the external facade of these two towers, which seem to charm every visitor. That's it. In the description box, you can find a free gift. It's a link to download for free four cool itineraries that will make you visit all the best places that Palermo has to offer. Make sure you don't miss them. Ciao.